Hey, are you trying to figure out just how in the hell am I supposed to get stuff and stock it up in my house when the grocery stores are all out? Well, a lot of people are asking that same question. So, in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you some answers on how to get around all that BS that's going on out there in this world. Now, they're saying they're having logistic problems and everything, and they just can't keep the store stocked up because, they, you know, everything just keeps running out the door, which in... You know, in light now and hindsight 2020, you know, everything's under limitations. So basically, they're just not getting enough to the stores. Because you can't just walk in and buy 13 packs of toilet paper now, can you? Shouldn't have been allowed to do it in the first place. But, they did. I don't know why everybody needs so much damn toilet paper. But, I hope you got enough. So this is the way we're going to get around this. All right? You guys got to get real creative. Now, you know, if you go to the stores and stuff, they don't have, you know, a lot of the shelves are still empty. Um, unless you're like the first person in the door and you get first picks and everything's under limitations anyway. So if you're lucky, you get those two cans of green beans. You did a great job. So <clears throat> let's talk about that. You need to start utilizing the Internet. All right. Internet is a beautiful thing. Um, it can be your worst enemy also, but in the long run, right now, it's your most prized possession that you have control over. Because you don't really have that much control anymore now, do you? You're stuck in your house with all your kids, and you got to be the teacher. Ain't fun, is it? So, you got to get online, all right? Perfect place to start, Walmart. Now, when you look online and go Walmart, you got to make sure when you go in there, you're not doing Walmart grocery, all right? They're all confusing in there. You've got to make sure that you're looking for the delivery part. And there's a little section on the left side of the screen where you can click delivery. So it's delivered to your house and not through the Walmart grocery delivery, all right? <clears throat> now, when you go and you click on that, it's going to show you the products that will be, that can be delivered to your home by uh, FedEx or UPS. Now, you go through there and you can find toilet paper. Yes, I did say toilet paper. Oh my Lord, have God, they'll probably be sold out by tomorrow. I still don't get it. But you can get uh, tissue paper, you can get paper towels, you can get soap, you can get cleaning products, you can get all kinds of stuff on walmart.com, okay? Target has the same feature, okay? You can get stuff on there. Amazon, when you go to Amazon right now, everybody's going to Amazon, okay? So Amazon is just like, you know, they're sold out of everything, you know? And if you do find something, you click on it, and it tells you, oh, okay, you're order, ordering it today. It's the end of April. Your delivery date is June 28th. Really? Why bother? Just tell me it's, hell, it's out of stock. What's the problem? I don't get it. But that's how Amazon does it. You know? And then they'll just keep pushing the date back. And if you're lucky, Santa Claus will bring it to you by Christmas. But, okay, let's take a step back. All right. We'll catch them a break. You know, you know, nobody was prepared for any of this kind of stuff. So, but, you know, everybody out there is supposed to be ramping up and producing more and all these uh, companies and everything else. But we still just haven't seen it. I just don't know where it's going. Maybe they're shipping it to China. I don't know. Who knows? So, <clears throat> you want to utilize the Internet. The Internet is your best friend. Get on there. Do some research. Start Google something. Uh, if, you need, if you need toilet paper, Google toilet paper. You know, you may see some sites that come up that you've never dealt with before. You know, if you have to, research the site. See what kind of reviews it has. You can always check with the Better Business Bureau. You can check out, you know, businesses through that, you know, see if it's coming from overseas. Are you going to get smacked for, you know, extra fees and charges and stuff when it gets delivered? That's a possibility. You know, you don't know. Try to find that out, you know. But your Internet is your best friend right now. In this situation, your Internet is your very best friend, people. 
get out there and use your internet because you're not going to find the stuff in the stores. Period. So if you get on there and you search and you find the stuff, you can get it all delivered. I had FedEx deliver it today. He dropped off some paper towels, um, tissues. I needed razors. I haven't been able to get razors. What happened to that? All of a sudden, what was there, a run on razors? You know, you can't get shit paper and you can't get razors. What the hell? You know? But I was able to order them right online, no problem. And with Walmart, if you order it online, if you spend more than 35 bucks, which is very easy to do nowadays, I mean, pfft, buy two things and you spend $35, you know, it's free shipping. So, you know, just wanted to throw out there and give you guys some ideas on how to go about um, getting around, getting the products that you need, you know, get on the internet and search for them. You got to go outside the box, outside the realm of Amazon, Walmart, and Target and see what else is out there. There's other companies out there that are selling said products online and will ship them to you and you get the friendly nice little UPS man come to your door and knock and ring the doorbell, hopefully if he's doing his job right. And there you go. There's your product. And you didn't even have to leave your house because you're the teacher. Remember? You're the teacher now. And you have to take care of your kids and teach your kids. You don't have time for all that other bullshit. Internet is your friend. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.